Hey everybody, I was playing around a little bit with uh, buttons in Squarespace and I just had a fun effect that I played around with that I just wanted to share. Someone actually asked if we can put images behind these buttons and yeah, that is something you can do. Um, but as I was playing around with sort of some of the hover effects that you can do with it, I wanted to share something. So let's just start off by getting an image back here because that's something we want. So I'm just going to pull up my web inspector here, right click, we'll go to inspect, it should pull up this little guy, I'm going to jump on one of my buttons, um, doo -doo -doo. it looks like the background color is being pulled from this selector here, um, so I'm going to just copy all these selectors right there, exit out of here, and we will jump back into our CSS. I'm just going to paste it in here. Then open closing tags so we can declare some variables, some properties. So what I want to do is just add an image back here and we're going to start off by just doing background image. Um, and we'll give it, just to test it out, let's just give it a linear gradient. Let's see if this is, I'm grabbing the right property. Uh, to top, 0%, uh, let's say blue at 0% and white at 100%, make it super simple. Um, that doesn't look like it is taking gradient because I spelled it wrong. Okay, so that is working. Um, to put an image back here, we're gonna go to Unsplash. I'm just gonna find some random image. Let's just grab this guy. Um, this is cool, I'm gonna, gonna grab this copy image address, right click, copy that. Every image that's on the internet is actually you can just paste that image into a URL and it's kind of like its own web page if you pull up the web inspector you can see it's pulled up right there and so if I just paste this link into uh, anywhere in my CSS or my HTML that can take or hold a uh, website URL as an image um, it'll work so I'm just gonna paste that into here as my background image and you see actually it's pulling this entire image in its exact uh, dimensions, the width and height, which are probably, it looks like 1226 and by 817. And I don't want that. That's saying the image is actually this wide, like as wide as my screen here, 1216 pixels wide, but I just want it to be as wide as that, uh, this box. So I'm just gonna give it a background, uh, background uh, size property of cover and that'll pull it up. And let's give it some other properties just so we can see. We want the color of the text to be white. That'll make it a bit, um, let's give it actually a text shadow uh, just to make it a little bit more readable. We'll make it a little blurry uh, and give it a black background. There we go. That's a bit more readable. And then let's give it a border. Uh, just border 2px uh, white. I'm gonna say solid white solid white. So there we go. This is our base button for what we've created here in Squarespace. And of course, since this is a global selector, this is going to be throughout our entire website. Um, if we wanted it just to be this page, I have this little plugin that I created that where I can just copy that selector and paste it in. Coming soon. Hopefully I'll have that and share that soon, but I have some work to do on it. But if you just want it to happen on one page, you can just get the collection page ID, pull up your web inspector. Again, I hit right click and inspect. And I grabbed the, boop, 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 the body if I, let's see if we can get, let's see if we can find it. So I'm looking for this body ID, this collection right here. So I'm just copying that entire thing. Right click, copy, and I can put that in front of my selector, my button selector here with a hashtag. And that will do it just to this page so it's not being applied anywhere else, which I need to sort of wrap it in my declaration right there. So there we go. Anyway, here is my base button. But what I want to do, an effect that I like is where it sort of hovers up. When you hover over it, it sort of scales open. And then when you click it, it scales down. And then when you release, it's back to normal. So the way you would normally do that is you just add this. And uh, the ampersand colon hover. 
Um, and let's just say we want to do like a transform uh, and then scale it like 2% uh, scale 1.02. And so now as I hover over it, it's going to pop open. So there we go. Wow, that's doing the entire collection because it's hovering the, whenever I hover anywhere over this page, it's doing that. That's not where I want this. I want this inside of this declaration. So I want it inside of this in there. So I'm going to paste it in there. So it's just being applied to the buttons, not the page. So you see it sort of scales open, but there's a little, it sort of like jiggles around as I hover over it, and I don't really like it. It looks like it's repainting the entire button. That's not something I necessarily want. So what I'm going to do is just change the border to sort of grow the border a little bit. So I'm going to say border, uh, let's say four pixels, solid white, solid white. And there we go. So that's that looks a little better. It's not jiggling, but it's pushing these other elements around. And so what I want to do is as I grow the border, because we're in a border box, I want to shrink the margin around it. So the border is originally two pixels. We grow it to four pixels. So the difference between this four pixel and two pixels is two. So that's what I want to reduce my margin by. So I'm going to say margin negative two pixels. So now as I hover over it, you can see it doesn't bump around those other elements. It just grows my border right there. And that's what I like. So it kind of gives this effect that the button is growing a little bit. Um, and then we can do another cool effect where on the active, um, and you won't necessarily be able to see this, but it's when I'm clicking down with my cursor, that's what this uh, colon active is. So when you're clicking down on your mouse, whatever, a trackpad, um, that is whatever properties you put in here get activated. So let's say um, we want to make the, we want to scale it down. Let's, let's transform uh, down just a little bit. Transform, scale, uh, let's do 0.98, right? S-C-A-L-E. Um, trans, something's wrong there. Transform, there we go. So now I'm hovering, click, you see it sort of shrinks a little bit, and then release. And so that's the fun little effect. So that looks like a really good button. Um, so there, there you go. If you want to keep that, you can have that. It's yours. Um, hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit. Take care.